Seattle 206723. Now everyone talks about war, w World War Three. Uh, a simple Google search of World War Three brings up Reuters, Reason, The Independent, Forbes, saying why World War Three could start in space. Russia wants to start World War Three. Ukraine uh, PM is a uh, is uh, announcing um, the Guardian, even though Rush Limbaugh Express C O U K U S A Today, and, and there's just more. The Inquester just goes on and on and on about World War Three. Now, everyone hears this rhetoric, everyone hears this. Uh, particular uh, talk about a possibility of World War 3 but no one actually really understands what it could mean and, and what's going on um, the hydrogen bombs going off the thermonuclear uh, bombs going off and even the uh, the antimatter now before you say I'm fear mongering and stuff like that this came out in the San Francisco Gate back in 2004, over 10 years ago. Air Force pursuing antimatter weapons program was touted publicly. Then came official gag order. Um, here is the Crean experiment. Antimatter experiments produced first beam of anti hydrogen. So they have anti hydrogen beams now that they are creating. Uh, we are not in the uh, we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto. Uh, you could actually see antimatter weapons break out in this. But for what we exactly know and what it means for the people of Seattle, we're going to take a little trip down here and give you guys an understanding of exactly what this means to you. Now, this is a uh, map called Nuke Map, and you guys can take a look at it. I'll leave a link below, and it will give you a good idea of what what's going to what's what you can expect with a if the nukes start flying out this is a uh, TSAR bomb bomba uh, and this is only the the 50 uh, megaton bomb as you can see here it's got the yield in kilotons this is 50,000 kilotons which makes it 50 million uh, kilotons. I've got the casualty rate. I've got it. It's going to be an Airbus. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and recreate this and detonate this for you guys. If they drop that bomb right there, um, this is what happens. The yellow, which is right here in the middle, which is highlighted, when I touch it, is the fire bomb. This is the radiation. And this is the thermal radiation that's going to uh, link out. That's going to uh, uh, just seep out. Now, we're talking based on this map right here. As those numbers keep moving up, I'm sure some people are distracted by that. That is the amount of estimated fatalities and injured. We are talking... Wow, this goes up to to 85th so we're talking North Seattle uh, easily um, close to Northgate so anything south of Northgate just on uh, the estimates here all the way down right here on 80th Street if you live on Northeast 80th uh, which is just a little bit from Northgate Mall the college Seattle University and everything else included all the way down here to the good folks and uh, this is West Marginal Way so we're headed yeah this is definitely the south end by SeaTac uh, there's Dell Ridge um, just north of the airport here um, everybody's gone if you're in this red zone area right here, North Admiral Way, West Seattle, everybody, everyone in West Seattle is dead. Everybody in that red zone uh, is, is gone. Um, 
Airbus radius of 20 PSI. At 20 PSI pressure, heavily built concrete buildings are severely damaged or demolished. Fatalities approach 100% optimal height to Airbus maximize its distance effect at 6.7 kilometers. That is this red area right here. Now, if I zoom out a little bit, there is a air blast radius of 5 PSI where it's going to knock over a lot of buildings. In fact, fatalities are widespread. Uh, you thought you were getting away from the certain death. Um, if you're inside of this gray area, you're going to wish you were dead. Um, and this is a bomb that was created back in the 60s. Um, and they thought it wasn't really good feasible because it would be slow. But with a lot of fast moving jets now and the, the ability to transport this would probably be a little bit easier. But we're going to do one more um, example for you guys. Um, what it means for the people of Seattle. This is a 15 megaton bomb. Um, and this is some of your uh, ICBMs. Uh, and we're going to detonate that and see what we get. Everybody in the red and below is certainly dead. That stretches from just over the uh, bridge there at I-5 as you're hitting into the University District. Uh, all the way down to just south of the West Seattle Bridge which runs over here. Everyone in this area is certainly dead and gone um, with 100% certainty and the Airbus uh, 5 PSI instead of the 20 is going to be within this area here into White Center. So. If you're alive in this area, you're going to probably wish you were dead or barely hanging on. And let's not talk about the third degree radiation. Uh, with third degree, I mean the third degree burns with the radiation that's going to emanate out here. Um, Renton all the way down to Federal Way. All the way up to about Mocatillo. Some of you people are definitely going to wish you dead. Everybody, If you remember the old uh, stories about... Um, what the Japanese talked about. Everybody in this area is going to be imprinted in shadows. Pretty much right here. These people right here are going to be the casualties that they find. They won't find anybody in here. You, you'll all vaporize. Guaranteed. Anybody out here found will just be bodies. Anybody out here will... Some of the people out here will live to tell the story. But this is a 3D look of it of that same bomb it's at uh f at the same same setup here we're going to detonate this one and give everybody a, a good look at it let's see here okay place target and effect. Wow. Let's go with the. Oh, that's what you count. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten, eleven one thousand, twelve one thousand, thirteen one thousand, fourteen. 15, 1,000, and people are probably wondering why I'm counting. Uh, you'd probably be ex-military.